Greetings Metalheads and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I'm back once again showing off some of my latest additions to the collection. I've got a little batch of vinyl here that I thought I might take you through. Some pretty interesting choices here but all freaking awesome. And all, as it happens, are falling pretty comfortably within the old school death metal subgenre. Definitely firmly within the death metal field here. So it's a mixture of um, albums that I am quite familiar with, that I've uh, been a fan of for many years, and a couple of bits that actually, surprisingly, was really not that familiar with. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with one of the choices, uh, a recent acquisition, um, something that I had noticed just by pure chance on Amazon uh, for very little indeed and it's part of a recent reissue series out via nuclear blast records this is the legendary pieces ep from the equally legendary i'm going to say probably godfathers of old school swedish death metal this is dismember with its disgusting artwork in check and this is a pretty brutal affair but strangely enough, I, I have had a CD copy of this for a number of years. It's been in my collection. I have heard it. But when I was listening to this, I was surprised at how unfamiliar I was with the material. Um, as I say, although I've had the CD, I don't think I've really listened to it very much. So it was a real pleasant surprise, actually, because this is gritty old school death. This is firmly within the old Stockholm Sunlight Studios HM2 sounding death metal but it's a really nice vinyl package and the material is actually really really good so this is the vinyl it's a half and half red and black very cool indeed uh, like that a lot cool uh, stickers on the inside there as you can see Neo. So actually, I'm surprised at just how, how good this material is. Um, and some of this earlier material, of course, you know, pieces followed on in 1992 after the legendary debut, like an ever-flowing stream. Of course, that material is absolutely next level stuff. That is classic old school death metal, classic dismember. But I do feel that this is... This is seriously strong stuff, actually. You take tracks like Pieces, the title track, feels and sounds so much grittier. It's almost demo quality at times, but it's those monolithic, buzzing, fuzzing riffs. It's freaking great. Uh, I Wish You Hell with all of its attitude and punch. You've got the brilliant Carnal Tomb and the closing track, probably one of the best, uh, Torn Apart. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, there's a lot of crossover at this early stage um, with what was Carnage, of course. But this, this sounds fresh. This sounds just as strong, in my opinion, as what we were getting from bands like Entombed at the time. So this is Pieces, the EP, as I say, 1992. Out as part of a complete discography reissue. We've had reissues on tape the last couple of years. Um, out on Back on Black Records. We've also had a, some tape reissues from Nuclear Blast Records, and now we've also got the CD reissues from Back on Black, um, with, or that might just be Nuclear Blast actually, I think, thinking about it. I've got loads of them. We've got these multiple different colour schemes for the vinyl. Yeah, we've got it all. Dismember has, has come back with a vengeance. But this is a nice piece, and I don't know why I overlooked it so much, but... Dismember with pieces, Swedish death metal, done right. Plenty of great riffs. And actually, I will just mention, talking about the lineup here. So you've got Matty, uh, Matty Kaki on vocals, a great vocalist, a really good vocalist, perfectly fits this sort of music. But I will say David Blomkist um, and Richard Demon or Damon on bass, and Robert, Robert Senbach on guitars, Fred SB on drums. These are legends, actually, scene legends. Really good musicianship, considering the fact that the whole point is this fast, loose and punishing. So yeah, good musicianship throughout, enjoyable stuff. But certainly not your random 
50 quid recording quality anyway. So up next, going from something that I don't know to something I know pretty well. Now this band is without a doubt one of my favourite old school Swedish death metal bands. When we say old school Swedish death metal or Swedish death metal bands, of course, we tend to think nihilist. We tend to think entombed. We tend to think dismember. Uh, it might be the case, for certainly for myself, that many will overlook the legendary Unleashed unjustly, in fact. Now, this band is, as I say, one of my favourite old school death metal bands. I absolutely love this band. So many killer albums in their catalogue. And this album is actually their debut album for uh, Where No Life Dwells. Originally released in 1991, I believe. And it's an album that I've had for many years on CD. Love it. Listen to it back to back so many times. So when I saw it available as this lovely vinyl, I just had to snap it up. To show off this cool insert here. Nice high quality print insert. The lyrics. Of course, this is the legendary lineup of Johnny, vocal guitars, uh, formerly of Nihilist, of course. Got Frederick on guitars, Anders on drums, and Thomas on guitars as well. Legends, absolute legends. And I'll just show off this lovely vinyl. This is a nice one. Clear, clear as ice. Freaking cool. Love that. Entombed, entombed. Unleashed where no life dwells. Very nice. High quality. It feels, feels like a heavy press. So this album. In my opinion, this debut from Unleashed, it doesn't bear all of the typical characteristics of, you know, Swedish death metal, Scandinavian death metal, where we tend to get that kind of HM2 really fuzzy riff stuff going on. I think we've got a lot of thrash elements in there. There's a lot of influence from, particularly I'm going to say from bands like Slayer or Creator. There is that kind of imprint on there that I pick up anyway. Brilliant tracks, the title track, uh, Where No Life Dwells, we've got Dead Forever, uh, For They Shall Be Slain, The Dark One, uh, and laughed, the, the Laughter Has Died, of course from the demo, we've got the title track Unleashed, absolutely brilliant, this is, this is absolutely classic, this is essential old school Swedish death metal in my opinion, absolutely freaking love it. This particular version um, is Funeral Industries release, under license from Century Media. This was acquired from the um, Cult Never Dies web store, so I'll pop a link in the description. So if you want to pick up a copy, which I strongly suggest you do, then you can go do so. Up next, keeping it chronological, the second album from the legendary Unleashed. This is 1992's Shadows in the Deep. Now this, I think that, I, I'm not going to say I prefer it, but I think this is a this is a fantastic album. It's just as good as the debut. There's no decline in quality. There is a massive improvement in some respects. Certainly in the, I'm going to say like the heaviness of it. Although there is, unlike at this sort of time, 1992, unlike um, some of their other contemporaries, there is definitely a strong leaning towards traditional heavy metal as well. Unapologetically so. I mean, for example, this album does actually feature a cover version of the le legendary Countess Bathory from Venom at the bottom there. So, you know, they're, they're unafraid, unapologetically showing homage to their inspirations, to their heroes there. But this is an absolute stormer. Absolute stormer. Tracks like The Immortals is monolithic. It's freaking heavy, massive sound. What else have we got here? Of course, the opening track, The Final Silence, is a beast. Child track Silence in the Deep, uh, Never Ending Hate, Onwards into Countless Battles, Crush the Skulls, absolutely freaking great. Or Crush the Skull, I should say. Another clear vinyl, very nice indeed. That kind of smoky effect almost. Very nice. Heavy Duty again, and this is a Funeral Industries release also. Shadows in the Deep. I know that you can get all of these on CD, um, the nice sort of reissues that Century Media do, and I do have all of these on CD with the hundreds of bonus tracks that you get, but it's a lovely package 
that, that logo, one of my favourite death metal logos for sure, that is eye-catching. Really, really does stand out, looks the part. So, you guessed it, we're, we're keeping Unleashed here, and we're going with the third album, Across the Sea. Now, this one, again, we're going back to what I said earlier, I'm surprised that I've overlooked this album so much, and I don't know why I have. I think it's probably because you've got two really strong albums, um, Where No Life Dwells and Shadows in the Deep. For some reason, I've kind of overlooked this album. This is the third album, 1993, uh, Across the Sea. Brilliant artwork, again, absolutely fantastic. And we've still got our legendary lineup here of Johnny, Thomas, Anders, and Frederick. Pretty consistent lineup the whole time, actually. I, I don't know if there has been any lineup changes, but I don't think there has, which is very uncommon. Um, again, high quality insert, nice bit of art there. Awesome stuff. And keeping with the, I like the consistency of the color scheme of this vinyl reissue. This one is definitely cloudier. <laughs> This is definitely less visible or less um, translucent, transparent. God, it's been, it's been a while since I did my sciences. Um, so an awesome album, actually, that I've been listening to quite a bit lately because, like I say, unjustly overlooked this album. Some really good tracks. I particularly like the opening track to Asgard We Fly and Open Wide, another really good one. Um, Across the Sea, the title track is a good one. In the Northern Lands, execute them all. There is a cover of Breaking the Law on there, which I don't necessarily think really fits. I don't really need to hear that. But other than that, it's a really strong album. Leaning more, again, it's, it's continuing the, the trend of leaning towards traditional heavy metal and maybe more so on this album than on the previous two. But it's a strong effort. This is strong, there's really strong thrashy elements there, there's strong sort of traditional heavy metal elements there, but it's also unapologetically unleashed. Unleashed are to death metal what Motorhead were to heavy metal rock and roll. Consistent. You know what you're going to get, you know the sort of stuff, and it freaking delivers every time. So Across the Open Sea, an absolute stunner. Glad to have a vinyl copy of that in the collection for sure. So... We're going to fast forward many, many years now, and I believe that this one was originally 2012. This is Odelheim. Now this is from, this is obviously Unleashed, but this is from a uh, different run, different label of reissues. This is a Back on Black Records reissue from recent years. And I will say, I have mixed feelings about some of these Back on Black record reissues. This is a nice gatefold, I will say. Nice gatefold, but single disc, single album. And I'll get that out for you. Um, it's a nice package, but I do kind of feel that some of these reissues from Back on Black, they kind of, I don't know, don't really quite stand up. Although that, that kind of splatter, it is cool, but it's not quite as effective as, as some reissues you get. It's not even as, effect, as effective as just the clear or the cloudy vinyl that the funeral industries ones are on, but this is this is more splatter than some of the other back on black reissues that I do have in my collection. Some of them are literally just a couple of streaks of red and black here and there, and that's kind of it. That said, this is a great album. This is a solid album. Um, I personally feel this is almost a little bit underappreciated by some. Odelheim features some brilliant tracks. It's kind of black metal infusion at moments, certainly in tracks like uh, Fimble Winter, Odelheim, we've got the brilliant White Christ here, the equally as brilliant uh, The Hour of Defeat, Gathering the Battalions, it's a really heavy album, it's old school death, it's, it's unleashed unapologetically, strong thrash vibes at times, definitely some real thrash paced riffing, but also as I say, some real strong kind of black metal undertones there. Um, really, and Fimble Winter is a perfect example of that. We've got the brilliant By, the, by Celtic and British Shores and Germania, that's a brilliant one. And the final track, The Great Battle of Odem, o Odelheim is superb as well. This is a brilliant album. This is essential listening and I would strongly recommend this 
to anyone who enjoys their old school death also enjoys kind of a bit of a blackened death vibe a little bit of a thrash vibe at times it's a strong album but might not might not kind of stand up to some of that early material certainly in terms of just sheer sheer old school brilliance but i think this is a, certainly a freaking great album odelheim brilliant album indeed so that concludes all the unleashed so we're done with sweden for now and i've got one last item in the collection here from a u.s death metal band a legendary death metal band that are certainly underrated and um i've had a bit of a sort of fragmented relationship with this particular band because i the first cd of theirs that i got was years and years and years and years ago um and it was actually the demo compilation um horrors something i can't recall off the top of my head but it was only uh, I, I sort of listened to it a couple of times and maybe was too young to appreciate it but it was only really when i got a copy of their debut album let us pray that i really started to get into vital remains now this is i believe it was from 1997 i can't recall off the top of my head but this is forever underground and this is an osmos productions 2022 reissue um which includes different color scheme different sort of artwork here nice red and this is a really really nice package i have to say uh, again we've got our sort of printed high quality insert uh, featuring our lineup here, the legendary Anthony Lazaro. We've got David Suzuki, absolute legend and phenomenal musician, and Joseph Lewis as well. I'll just show this vinyl. You might not be able to see it clearly because it, it's a very dark shade here, but it is black kind of mist in red. It is fantastic. It's a really nice colour scheme. Um, just a little bit difficult to kind of see and appreciate there, but it's it's freaking like nice when you hold it up to the light. It's it's lovely. It looks blood red, really cool. So this was uh, new to me. I have to say, mentioned the debut album, which was a favourite of mine for a long time. Let us pray, and then got into some of their other albums. There isn't a particular wealth of albums in their discography. Most notable is probably Icons of Evil, which features Deicide's Glenn Benton on vocals, and that's a monster of an album. But I'd say this is a really strong album. It's a bit of a strange one. Um, it took me a few listens to really sort of get my head around what I was listening to, but it is Vital Remains, and it's Vital Remains in very fine form. We kick off with a brilliant track in the form of Forever Underground, which is punishing death metal, US death metal. We've got Battleground, I Am God, We've got this, a strange sort of almost dungeon synth sounding piece in um, Farewell to the Messiah before we get pummeled yet further by Eastern Journey and Divine in Fire. A brilliant album. I would say this is essential listening for fans of Morbid Angel, for fans of Deicide, for fans of um, Malevolent Creation. You know, if you like your old school death, but at the same time, this is so much more complex, so much more mature, if you like. There's a lot more to it than just a three minute song with some thrashing, brutal riffs and, you know, lyrics about zombies. There's so much more to it than that. So much more going on, in fact. That said, this is easily enjoyable. Fantastic musicianship. Riffs that you can headbang along to, drums that you can headbang along to vocals that you can growl along to it's brilliant stuff i really would recommend checking out for any of the vital remains albums in fact but um this is considered in some quarters as an ep however i don't see how because it's like nearly 40 minutes long but forever underground is fantastic nonetheless so there we have it that is my uh run through of my latest additions to the collection just to recap we had the Legendary Pieces EP from Swedish Legends Dismember. Then we have a little succession here, Odelheim. We have, come back to the third album, Across the Sea, Across the Open Sea rather. We've got our Shadows in the Deep, second album there. 
and we have the debut effort from the legendary Unleashed, Where No Life Dwells. Definitely, if you've never heard these albums, any of these four, then you certainly need to. And then last but not least, we have that legendary, amazing, brilliant Vital Remains. And this is a nice sort of embossed um, vinyl sleeve here. Really nice. Vital Remains with Forever Underground. So my friends, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions on these albums, EPs, releases? What are your thoughts on these vinyls? What are your thoughts on Dismember, Unleashed, Vital Remains? Please do feel free to comment, share your thoughts on this one. But thanks for watching, my friends. Check back soon for more reviews and recommendations. Feel free to like and subscribe. But take care of yourselves, my friends. Until next time, stay heavy.